So today I have some very exciting news. I am finally getting my car tuned. Now I'm not doing this just to get more power. There's actually a more significant reason for me doing this. And uh, that goes back to the issue I've been having with my secondary air injection or the air pump check valve. A lot of you guys uh, already know this, but I previously had an issue with my check engine light on with the air pump check valve or secondary air injection. It's the same thing, so. Uh, but anyways, I replaced it, uh, got it fixed, just to kind of summarize up that video. Um, check engine light went off and then it came back on about a week later. Uh, same exact thing. So it's been a couple weeks since then and I've been doing some research. I actually had one subscriber comment uh, on that specific video telling me that I can get a tune that literally tunes out the secondary air injection. Um, so I connected with a guy on Facebook who actually has the same equipment that uh, I would have to spend $400 for online and ship away my ECU to get it done. Um, but he does it for free here in Phoenix. So I'm headed over there right now. Unfortunately, it's in rush hour, so I've got about a 50 minute drive to go about 20 miles, but you know, it's gonna be worth it. So basically this tune, from my understanding, is just going to tune out the secondary air injection, meaning my car won't use it because the 2003 93, which is the model year I have, is the only model year that has the secondary air injection, and that's because uh, it was so prone to problems. So the newer 93s uh, don't have the secondary air injection. So basically what the tune's going to do is just tune it out, like I've said already, and it won't be used at all. So that should get rid of my check engine light and I won't have to deal with that stupid nagging problem anymore. But along with that, there's obviously with most tunes, you got like your stage one, stage two, stage three. Um, and to get stage one, I don't really need to upgrade anything. So he's actually gonna give me the stage one tune for free. Um, very generous of him. Um, but I'm gonna be getting that stage one tune, which is going to add roughly 45 horsepower and 50 pound-feet of torque. So I'll be crank. crank. I should be pushing 260-ish horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque, which is a lot of power, actually. So I do wanna eventually upgrade to a stage two or stage three uh, tune, which will give me, stage three should give me an additional 30 horsepower and. 30-ish pound-feet of torque on top of stage one. But in order to do that, I've got to upgrade the inner cooler, uh, totally new exhaust, um, what else, spark plugs, uh, air filter, and uh, there's one other thing uh, that it suggests that I have. Well, actually, it requires that I have. Stage two suggests that, and stage three requires all that stuff. So that's about... 12 or 1500 dollars in parts right there so that's obviously something that you know i gotta be committed to and it's something that i'd really like to do because you know i'd finally get a bit of a louder exhaust a performance-based exhaust so stage three that is something that i want to do in the future uh, it will require a lot of new parts performance-based parts um, that i think will be worth it you know it'll also help my car run better than just the stock parts but yeah, guess I'll uh, stop rambling and I'll catch up with you guys when I meet up with him and we get the tune. All right, so just finished up getting the tune. Um, I just want to apologize in advance. I'm going to be driving away from the sun and the sun's getting close to setting. So if there's a massive glare in the frame, I apologize. Um, but anyways, just finished up with the tune. I wasn't really able to uh, film much of it. Uh, you know, it was at the guy's house, so I didn't want to film his house or anything like that but uh check engine lights off uh thankfully obviously because the issue was the secondary air injection which means that everything else on the car is running smoothly um basically he just kind of gave me a quick rundown of the tune so i just got the stage one uh because i don't have anything else upgraded yet to where i can get more uh more power out of my car but oh yeah 
throttle response is just insane now. It's like tap the gas and boom, you're gone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Probably won't put that in there in the video. Wow, that was a uh, that was an extremely quick 40 to 60 pull right there. Jeez. This thing is definitely a lot quicker. So stage one, this should have added roughly around uh, 45, 40 or 45 horsepower, uh, about 50 pound feet of torque. So I should be pushing uh, about 255, 260 horsepower. Uh, this is crank, not wheel. And uh, about 270 pound feet of torque. So definitely a substantial upgrade from the 210 horsepower, 220 pound feet of torque that it makes stock. And uh, I'm excited to see the, uh, the difference this makes in the long run. He basically just said, you know, throttle response is going to be a lot different. You're going to notice that turbo is going to be a lot louder, which is great. That's something that I definitely wanted. Um, outside of that, though, I'm not really sure specifically what this car, uh, how it's running differently. Um, fuel efficiency, I think, should be a bit better, too. So, you know, really, when you think about it, there isn't a downside to doing this. We ended up talking for a while. Um, he's got a 2003 9.3 as well, and he was telling me he, he had uh, basically the same exact issue with the secondary air injection. He just said, screw it, I'm just going to tune it out, and he hasn't had any problems since. Uh, he's tuned a ton of sobs in the Phoenix area, um, so if you have a sob and you live here, uh, message me. I'm not going to give out his information over YouTube or anything, obviously, but yeah, if you message me if, you, uh, if you're interested. Uh, one thing he can't do, though, uh, he can't tune arrows. Uh, actually, I have a friend who should be doing a video on his car soon. He's got an arrow. Uh, his can't be tuned, unfortunately, but I should be able to beat him now. Uh, if we went head to head, he does it completely free. You know, it sound sounds kind of sketchy. You know that he'd do it for free, but he uses all the professional equipment. He actually works for uh, for GM, so or he used to work for GM. So you know, he knows everything about this engine, uh, everything about how it runs because this is a GM Saab, not a true Saab. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what this has in store. So definitely more power that is such a refreshing sight no check engine light on everything's running perfectly smoothly so far i'm so excited with this new tune just something i've noticed about three or four miles into the drive home so far uh the car seems a lot less uh motivated to downshift uh maybe it's because there's a bit more torque and power at the lower end now uh, but I've got to give it a little bit more gas, it seems, than I used to have to, to, uh, generate a downshift, which, which is totally fine. Just, uh, just an observation I'm having so far. Okay. So pulling up to a stoplight here, I'm going to try to do a zero to speed limit's about 40 right here. So I'll probably do like a zero to 50 pull. Cause I don't really want to get caught speeding. Don't really need a ticket right now. I'm up against a Toyota RAV4, so this should be some uh, stiff competition. With the windows down, if we hear the turbo. Oh no, we got a Dodge start on the other side. It's gonna be tight. Traction control is off. Ready to hit 60 in about two and a half seconds here. All right, so that was 50. Not bad, not bad really. Uh, felt a bit quicker. Um, sometimes tunes do take a little bit to uh, fully break in. So I might still be in that period where it's still kind of breaking in. So I put about 20 miles on the car with the tune. Now I've been driving it for about 40 minutes or so. Um, and the cars run perfectly fine, ran better than before it did uh, without the tune, obviously. Uh, no check engine lights still, so that means that I don't want to
going to jinx it, but 99.9% .9 chance uh, there's currently no issues with the car, which is a huge relief to me because the past three or four months this car has been nothing but a pain in the ass. Yeah, everything has been working perfectly. Uh, transmission shifting smoothly. Uh, Obviously, the tune didn't change anything really with the gearing or transmission-wise. Uh, still shifts really smoothly. It does feel a bit quicker. We'll do a low third gear pull here from about 55 miles an hour. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. That is, yeah definitely quicker uh obviously once it downshifted took about half a second for it to downshift and it just took off um but yeah that was about 60 to 75 right there that was or 55 to 75 actually at this point i'm just rambling so uh i think i'll end the video here um i'm going to be doing another video on this car probably within the next couple of weeks because i'm about to hit a uh, 10,000 miles of ownership with the car and I'd like to go over uh, Kind of my experience my ownership experience so far, you know all the problems I've had with the car um, Everything I've done to it, you know Just and generally, you know how I feel about the car. So definitely stay tuned for that video uh, Coming here probably in the next couple weeks. Don't quote me on that, but I should be making that very shortly um, But yeah Thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next video.